All right, guys, I just want to go over the things going on with Vault NU, especially since I talked to you guys last. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence. Do your own research and let me know what you find out. So uh, Vault NU we have here is that I look at their Twitter, and their Twitter says, what if I told you that with the V2 on top of introducing the new auto burn tats on ETH, we also plan to increase the volume on BSC? Um, there's not very much I'm really seeing, but we do see people asking <laughs> how to convert V1 to V2 on Trust Wallet. When will it migrate start? So I was thinking from everything I've seen that it was going to start April 1st. It, you see people having similar issues. And this is just a common question that I haven't seen anyone on Twitter or anyone from Vault and you reply to. If we look back at how they've been doing in the past seven days, it's been going down. <laughs> um, look at the month and it's been going down. Uh, you look at around the point when they talked about migraine for April 1st and it's just, it's not really doing that great. We go to their website and I last time I checked and what I'm looking at now you see roadmap you see the basic everything that we've seen before on their page but no information about them doing the version 2 um, I also heard you know people compare it to safe moon it said in early 2021, the price skyrocketed over 1,500%, then plunged. At this point, it seemed like it was a gamble to invest in SafeMoon. And when I look at SafeMoon, you see that with all their time, it's been it's been going down. And the reason I mentioned SafeMoon and comparing, not only because people mention it on the tweets, but if you look in here, if you look in here, it says that we have received mail stain that we have issues with migraine from V1 to V2. That's the kind of the issue we're having with Vault is that migration between Vault 1 and Vault 2 has been having issues. The issues with SafeMoon was not knowing how to migrate, having less tokens after migrating. V2 is not showing up in the wall after transferring from one wallet to another. Insuffic insufficient notice of V1 to V2 migration and end of support of V1. So this has all the information when it comes to this. But as you can see, like a lot of things that was talked about with Safe Moon seem to be some of the situation with Vault in you. And that's the reason I'm nervous, is that I don't feel like there's been enough notice. I mean, the only reason I found out about it is because someone mentioned it to me. I'm going to be transparent and say that I've really gotten out of Vault in you just because I have uncertainty with it. I just really don't know what they're doing or what's going on. And I would like some information. I mean, to my knowledge, if I pull out now and then they transfer it over, then I should be able to get back in the position once everything's settled. And that's basically how I'm doing it. I'm trying to play it safe because I haven't dealt with this before. I've heard people say that anytime there's a V1 to V2, there's always, it hasn't ended good in any of the circumstances. So, just to go over through this, when I look at the Vault and You page, which is where apparently all the information is kind of supposed to be at, because it's not on their website, you see people, I mean, you see this talking about it, but it doesn't tell you how. You got stuff going on. This week will be amazing, but it's not telling you anything. 
people feel involved-ish, which is not something that really means too much. Of course, it's posted by them a lot. See, this this is the reason why I'm not really... I, I trust December quite a bit, Mark. Um, I like a lot of stuff he does, and I know he's around all the stuff going on in Miami. But regardless, they're still not giving me any information. You know, communication is the key to every relationship. <laughs> anyway, uh, not financial advice. If you have any information, let me know. But so when I was going through my, uh, when I was going through Pancake Swap is where I got it. I was able to, I saw something about Vault Enable when I went to exchange it. And I clicked it and it said V1, V2, which I don't know if that had to do with the website or if actual Vault. And when it said Enable Vault, I looked at it and it, it didn't do anything. I checked my wallet and my wallet had the same amount as it, what it did before. So not to mention that a lot of people are saying that it hasn't started yet. It hasn't started yet, but if we miss the first week, then it could take a month, they say. And if we miss the month, then it won't have any value. Like you won't be able to use Vault 1 or V1 afterwards. So there's a lot of uncertainty. I'm just pulling out of the position. I'll wait for it to get settled and worked out, and then I'll get back into it. But how do you feel? What do you think? I'd like you to like if you like this video. Subscribe, share, comment. Most definitely comment, because I want to know how you feel. This is how I feel. Let's make crypto dream a reality. Thank you.